In today's video, I will teach you how to reduce background noise in Microsoft Teams meetings and explain the case scenarios for each selection so you have a better understanding and make the right choice for your Teams meetings. When your mic is turned on in a Teams meeting or call, background noise around you, shuffling papers, slamming doors, barking dogs, and so on can distract others. Microsoft Teams offers three levels of noise suppression to help keep team meeting participants focused during their meetings. How do you do this? In your Teams meeting interface, click on the three dots button that says More Actions here. Select Settings and Device Settings. Under Noise Suppression, the default is set to Auto. You have three other options here, High, Low or Off. If you are in a noisy environment like a park, coffee shop or playground, select High to minimize the background noise. If you are in a quieter environment like a cafe, in your car or in a classroom setting with no one else around, select Low. If you do not want to have noise suppression at all, select Off. I hardly recommend selecting Off because if there is no noise suppression, the microphone picks up everything around you, so even if the fan is blowing towards you or if you are breathing a little bit heavier, when you talk, you will hear these unwanted sounds. Once you have selected your option, click on the X button here. I don't personally recommend Auto or High because so far in all the years that I've been using Microsoft Teams, the auto noise suppression doesn't always adjust to the correct level of noise suppression. And more often than not, it is set to high, meaning that it cancels a huge amount of background noise in your background. Well, in a way, that is good because your background will be super quiet and clean, but this will also result in a distortion of your voice. And also with the slightest sounds, like I mentioned earlier, breathing sounds or the fan blowing, the auto or high noise suppression will try to cancel that background noise and very often, mutes or cuts off your voice so people will periodically hear missing words when you talk. I hope in today's video you have learned how to reduce background noise in Microsoft Teams and the best selection for your needs. Until the next video, I'm Steph. Take care and bye bye.